Welcome to Celebrity Home Shopping. I'm your host, Samir, and I'm happy to have me. On today's episode, we're taking a look inside Lewis Hamilton's recently sold New York City apartment. Let's take a look inside. Here's what we love about this house. We love the building appeal. This building is a classic Tribeca building, and we love being classic. Inside, we love the wide plank floors. Don't ask me how I measured, but they look at least seven inches. We love the double height ceiling of the living room. This is a perfect room to drive around an F1 car in. We love the open sky view of the stairwell. In the kitchen, we love the pot filler. Only if you use it regularly. We love that there looks like there's a solid 3BMS in here. And we love these door handles. This seems better than the traditional kind because they're not going to catch on to your clothes. We also love the general coziness of the kitchen. We love the size of the main bedroom suite. In the bathroom, we love the book match stone. And we love the rain shower in the shower. This is a perfect place for Lewis to stand and cry and think about losing the Abu Dhabi GP today. We love the lounge on the roof deck level. It opens up to the entire roof deck. It's very hard to have a maximum chill lifestyle with all of the garbage that surrounds you in New York City. And I mean the literal garbage, there's garbage everywhere. But having your own roof deck can make that maximum chill lifestyle possible. We love the plunge pool that's up here. P.S. This is the rendering, but I check Google Maps and it's there. I think they added it recently. Even though there's a nice regular pool in the building, when you live in the penthouse, you don't want to have to go down to share the pool with the regular people in the building. That's just not okay. Finally, we love that there's in-unit laundry. We love that there's a separate elevator within the unit. Please note though that this doesn't go to the apartment from the ground floor. You've got to take the regular elevator, but then once you get up there, you have your own elevator. And most importantly, we love that it comes with two private parking spots. Two parking spots in New York City are worth $5 million alone. Here's what we hate about this house. I'm sorry, but are these radiators in a $50 million home? They're everywhere. This hurts my heart. This building is from the 1800s and they probably didn't have heat back then, but guess what? We're not in the 1800s anymore. It didn't have to be this way. We hate that the lower level windows don't match the upper ones. You can see more on this side. How do we even open these windows? Even a tall king can't reach these. We hate this balcony area that leads to nothing. Even though we love beams as an accent, this home is a little bit too beamy. I don't really want to know how buildings stay put together. While we're looking at them, is this one cracked? Is this safe? By the stairwell, we hate this light that comes through. If I were a cat, I would hate this. In the kitchen, we hate this strappy thing on the island. Slivers of food will get under this and you'll never be able to get it out. There's a time and place for strappy things on an island and this is not it. We hate the glass sub-zero in here. This is the kind of fridge you get when you first make it, but someone that buys a $50 million home has made it for a while, so you'd really want to go with a more classy cabinet matching style. In the main bathroom, we hate these gonzo looking faucets. We hate that this sink is literally a trough. How do you even explain this to someone? Hey Jerry, check out my trough. No, it's not for feeding my cows, it's for brushing my teeth. And we hate the gonzo knob for the tub. How does this one handle system even work? It's 2021. Why can't I just push some buttons and get the temperature of the water to exactly the temperature that I need? Instead of twisting this thing like some kind of Neanderthal. Finally, we hate all this gravel on the rooftop deck. This is grav hell. This home ranked 4 out of 5 on the homies home ranking scale. As always, welcome to the Stats After Show where we take a deeper dive into the stats. If you don't know Lewis Hamilton, he's a top level British F1 racer. That sport has become pretty popular in America over the past few years, probably because of that Netflix stock. F1 racing, by the way, is this kind of car. Let's talk quickly about the rating. Pretty nice home, good layout, very open and airy. I think most of this price was for the neighborhood and the building, though. You could see in some other buildings at this price range, the quality of the materials and the craftsmanship is way better. There was some pretty simple wood flooring and stone around the home, but it needs a lot more. The common charges are pretty crazy, looking at over $200,000 a year just for that. Guess he never moved into the home. Right when he bought this place, he bought something else nearby, and I think he liked that one more. But he usually lives in Monaco. Just throwing it out there for the record, if I could usually live in Monaco, I would also usually live in Monaco. According to the New York Post, I think a Seattle LLC bought the place, so they think maybe like a Jeff Bezos or a Bill Gates bought it. What did you all think about the home? What did you rate it? And what did you love and hate about it? Let us know in the comments below. Oh yeah, tons of famous people have lived in this place. Like The Weeknd, Justin Timberlake, Harry Styles, Jessica Biel, even Jake Gyllenhaal and Meg Ryan. 
As always, a super special thank you to our Patreonized coffee supporters. It's patreon.com slash Sabir. With your support, I can be a winner and have a $5 iced coffee every day, so thank you. And a shout out to our Patreon Plus producers at Spencer, Zachary, Melissa, Dan, Teddy, Megan, Lauren, Henry Kitchen, Julie Barlap, Ellen, Paul, Alyssa, and Colin, Mike, and Emmy. Thank you so much. And here are all of our Patreon producers. Just want to give you all a big shout out and thank you. Thank you, everybody. See you all next episode.